In today's video, I have this crazy movement tutorial. You guys are gonna absolutely enjoy this. My movement goes crazy in Modern Warfare 3. This movement is top tier. I promise you guys, you will not be disappointed in today's video. And the gameplay is so crazy, we dropped a double nuke in today's gameplay. So hopefully you guys stick around to the end for that. The movement goes so crazy, it has streamers acting like this. Oh my God, he got a juggernaut. He got the juggernaut again? Bro, who is this guy? Bro, he's 94 right now? That's crazy. This guy's a fucking monster at this game. That's nuts. Yo, that Vito, he's 105 right now. GG's to the dude with 100 kills, man. Shit, I was gonna say, check me out on kick. Check that man out on wherever the f he's on. And if you guys wanna see me do stuff like that live, go check out my kick. I'm always live over there on kick, over there live getting these gameplays every night. And if that's not enough for you, just stick around the end and see this gameplay. This gameplay is absolutely insane. But I'm not gonna take too much of you guys' time. Let's get into these settings. All right, so look, we're gonna start with the controller settings. There's nothing really crazy right here. My button layout is tactical, nothing crazy, nothing special. Controller vibration, I play with it on. Some people prefer it off. It's just personal preference. Some people say it messes up the aim. I don't feel like it do it does so i mean and dead zones i think we all should know by now you don't copy anyone's dead zones everybody controller is different so look we got sensitivity sensitivity i play on 15 15 thinking about going up but 15 15 is pretty much pretty good for what we're doing and having that good movement it took me a while to get 15 15 under control because i used to play if you the uh, og in my warfare 2 i used to play 8 8 but now i bumped up to 15 15 because it definitely helps with movement just couldn't move on the eight sensitivity i mean that it was just horrible so we had to bump up to 15 15 because you know we got to keep up with the movement in this game all right ads sensitivity multiplayer that's on point 65 and here goes that i think these are default vertical aim assist all those are standard and this is very very important we run dynamic aim response curve type that is very very important aim assist on of course if you don't have it on what are you doing why are you even have a, why do you have a controller in your hand in the aim assist type we use black ops i mean black ops feels a lot better um in this game modern warfare 2 is default but i'm definitely rocking with black ops this game because it just feels better i hit more shots and that's what i use in all my videos so if you've been watching my videos then you know this black ops aim assist is perfectly fine i mean i've been beaming kids it's, it's perfectly fine bro it's just stop using default that's how i can say gameplay settings this is pretty self-explanatory if you want to have good movement automatic tactical sprint definitely have that on you know just copy these settings and then you want to slide slash so dive behavior have it on slide only and just copy these settings but i'm going down pause the video if you need to these are pretty much self-explanatory settings. Color customization, we run whatever this word say. I still don't know what it say to this day, but have this on and have that on. And you wanna have filter two on, no matter if you're on console or PC, have filter two on and have that color filter target on both and have the world intensity 100 100 so copy those settings and once you have those down you're ready to move like a demon let's get to it all right so look this is how we gonna do the movement tutorial i don't do nothing crazy nothing nothing special this is not one of those you know TikTok moving shake your screens macro no this is not that so if you was looking for that you might as well go ahead and click out the video i assume most y'all not even looking for that because i mean you're not gonna be able to do that on good players let's just be honest so first i'm gonna start with the slide council everybody should know how to slide council um if you slide council with b it's b a but i play tactical so i slide council with the left stick so it's left stick a um left stick a left stick a you know simple very very simple and then yeah and in some instances where like if i was like you know shooting at somebody like right here and i was like uh he and he went over there he got low i would slide all the way down here then boom try to finish him off or there's gonna be some instances of where you shooting at somebody right here boom and he, he don't kill him all the way oh i did not mean to do that shoot him right here boom don't kill him all the way then boom jump back out I do that a lot of times in games because sometimes you need that cover because he got you low and you got that reach out right here. You know what I'm saying? So like you shoot him and he's shooting you and y'all both low, boom. You wanna hit this and then do it like that. Like obviously it's not full speed, but you know, stuff like that. Stuff like that is, you know, very, very crucial because I do it a lot like in all my gameplays, people ask like, why do you do that? Because I mean, come on now, it's common sense. Take cover. 
Boom, finish them off. And another thing I recommend for movement, you see how this gun is? No stock. I mean, if you want to move, you know, be able to move like this, and I don't have macros on, and all my videos, I literally just spend why I don't have macros. I used to, but yeah, they they work when they want to work. So look, I just literally spend why. I mean, you get the timing down, you'll be fine. I mean, I literally just spend why. And that's how I do it. And another thing I do a lot, like saving somebody over here, I shoot at them, then I boom, then I do it like that, literally like that. I literally slide, then boom. Like, I don't know what is that called, but it it works all the time. Like, say he's walking through there, like through this angle right over here. I don't know, what do you, what do you call this? The the cockpit. And you just slide, and he'll be right, run right past you. Like, I like the crates and shipment, you just literally slide, and they're gonna go right past you all the time. Like, Boom, like, obviously I'm not running full speed because nobody's right here. I wish I had a dummy right here to hit the corner. Then I boom slide and then, you know, turn around and kill him. I can't get a good, like, example. Boom, yeah, that, that's a good example. Like, they, they literally will pass you. Because, like, the aim assist can't keep up with it, so. And another way to kill people a lot, like, especially multiplayer war zone, whatever you play, is stems, like, say, I'm getting hit right here. Uh, he's hit me a lot, boom, I stem. Then I, another kid hits me right here, then I turn around, boom. I mean, there's all type of instances, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, you just gotta be able to move. Uh, you don't gotta wah wah. Once you get the slide counseling down, I mean, th that's pretty much like all you need to know. I mean, if you slide counsel and, you know, have a little bit of IQ, you know, you got movement. You don't need no crazy movement, you know, nothing too crazy, just something, you know, you can just move. And you no know, slam kids, cause I usually like say if the kid come right here, boom, I'm gonna slide it, put him in finish move. Literally, I do it all the time. Like if you watch me live over there, I'll kick like I said, you'll see what I'm talking about. Here go my Nvidia filters right here, bro. These are my Nvidia filters. Um, if you can sacrifice your frames, cause it is gonna take a quite a bit of frames, then here you go. I mean, these filters are good. I did not mean to change that. These filters are the best ones that I know so far. And another thing for movement. Perks, perks are really, really important. I run scavenger. I know the people are gonna kill me for that when I can run quick grip gloves, but I play a lot of multiplayer, so scavenger and all that, cause I go for high kills. So I need those scabs. I need them. I run running sneakers and mag hollow stuff. I mean, that's pretty much self-explanatory because all these freaking suck. And running sneakers, I mean, come on now. Increases uh, tax sprint. Come on now, I mean, come on now. What what else you gonna use? Tactical pass, I don't even know if it works. So at one point it didn't. I know for a fact it didn't, but I still don't know if it works. A, a lot of people gonna eat me up in the comments for this one, but I don't run infantry vests, I know. Oh my God. If you really wanna have some crazy movement to it though, you know, run the infantry, run the infantry vest. But you know, we run demolition vest because stems. I, I can, I get a limited amount of stems like, you know, I hit a stem and I just wait for it to refresh. And that's because I play a lot of multiplayer though. You know what I'm saying? So if I ain't play a lot of multiplayer, you know, probably would run uh, infantry. And you know, that's pretty much it for this movement. So like, let's put it into action and 